What's up guys? Thank you for joining. Today I'm going to solve one of the questions that I got on my YouTube channel. This question right here. Are you ready? Let's do this. Before we solve this question in Power BI, let's quickly take a look at the data in Excel. If you remember last time, our goal was to find the total time that a worker spends to build a vehicle. Here we have every single process, assembling, painting, and also quality control. And we have here the workers and also the time that every single worker spends working for a specific process. And the idea here is to find the total time, like I said before. So the approach that I took last time was to extract every single component from this cell right here. For example, John Smith, he spends assembling a vehicle eight hours, 23 minutes and 14 seconds, right? So the idea was, okay, so let's grab just hours, minutes and seconds. In order to do so, we just use the hour function and then we grab hours here. For minutes, we use the minute function and then we get minutes here. And then for seconds, we use the second function and grab 14 seconds from this cell. And then at the end, the idea is to add every single component like you guys are seeing here. And the idea is to have this in hours. The first cell here is just hours. Perfect, we don't have to multiply or divide by anything there. And then the second cell here is minutes. If we wanna convert this to hours, we have to divide this by 60. That's what we're doing here. And then for seconds, we select the cell that has seconds and also we have to divide by 3,600 if we wanna convert this to hours. So at the end, we are basically adding those components and we're getting the result in hours. And then we have to do this for every single row. And then at the end, you can see this calculation. You are basically getting the total hours spent to build a vehicle. And last time what I did was, I'm gonna convert this to days, hours, minutes, and seconds. And that's what I did here. And the result here was three days, 17 hours, 20 minutes, and 53 seconds so you might remember my tutorial if you haven't watched that tutorial yet it's highly recommended i'm going to share with you guys the link here stop this video and watch that tutorial first and like i said i got many questions nestor how do we do this i want to have just hours and then a week later i got the same question nestor how can we do this but i want to have just hours we don't want to have days we want to have cumulative hours. Okay, so it's quite straightforward, my friends. Check this out. I'm gonna solve this in Excel and then we're gonna quickly transition to Power BI. Remember, this is the total hours that we have here, right? So we are basically referencing this cell. And then if we wanna have just the integer part here, we use this function called trunk. So grab this, just the integer part. We have 89 there. And then if you wanna have the decimal part here, you have to basically subtract these two cells and then you get there the decimal part. But remember, this is just hours. Now the next step is to convert this to minutes. So you reference this cell and then multiply by 60. That's how you get minutes. And then the next step is to grab just the integer part of that result. So you get just 20 minutes and then in order to get the decimal part, you have to subtract those two cells as well. And then if you want to convert this 0.88 minutes to seconds, you have to multiply by 60. And that's how you get seconds. And finally, you have to round this value to have just zero decimals. And that's what you have. So in the end, the result should be 89 hours, 20 minutes and 53 seconds. And our goal here is to find the same results in Power BI. And of course, we want to use DAX. So now let's go to Power BI Desktop, my friends. So now here we are in Power BI Desktop. And as you can see, I have improved this report a little bit. But the idea here is the same. 
we need to find this result in terms of cumulative hours. You might remember that if we use just sum, the sum function, like we did here, this is the result that we are getting. 17 hours, 20 minutes, and 53 seconds. And this is wrong. And that's the reason that we use the other measure. So this is the measure that we used last time. And here we're going to make a couple of changes. And the idea here is to find cumulative hours instead of days. If you remember, we use the SUMX function. This is an indicator because it calculates or it scans the information at a row level. That's what we want. And here we have also the, the function is very, this is very similar to Excel, hour, minute, and then also seconds. Remember here, we have to convert minutes to hours. That's why we are dividing by 60. And the same story here for seconds. We have to divide this by 3,600 to convert this to hours. In the end, we have to sum every single component. And that's what we have here. That's the first variable. And then the second variable, we have to convert this to days. So I'm going to stop here because I'm going to copy this code, control C. And now I'm going to create a new measure, okay? Because I don't want to make any changes here. So you will see the, the result, control V. And I'm going to change the name of this measure instead of two, three. So I'm going to improve the code here as well. Remember, here, instead of using the divide operator, we're going to use the divide function because it improves performance, okay? So let's do that real quick. Divide here, and then this should be close parenthesis. And then for second, we're going to do the same thing, okay? We're going to use the divide function here. And then here, comma, that's the denominator, close parenthesis. There you go. Perfect. So the next step here is also to use the divide function instead of the divide operator. Like I said, the idea here is to improve the code and improve performance. And you go. And the next step here is to delete this one right here, this variable. So let's delete this. And here, this is the tricky part, right? Because we already have here days. And the next step here is to convert days into hours again. How do we do that? Here, basically, we are converting days to hours. We have to multiply this by 24. The next steps are very similar to what we did in Excel or very similar to what we did last time, right? In the previous tutorial. So we have to grab the integer part of this, this result. That's the reason that we're using the trunk function here and then in order to get total minutes, we have to subtract total hours minus hours, the integer part, multiply by 60. We get a result there for total minutes. And then if we want to grab minutes integer, we're going to use the trunk function again and reference the previous variable. And then for total seconds, we're going to do something very similar but we need to round the results. That's what we're doing here. And then the last modification, the last change here is to delete the days piece because we don't care about days anymore, but we care about hours, we care about minutes, and we also care about seconds. So that's it, my friends. This should work fine. So let's approve these changes and give it a try, okay? Perfect. So let's drag this new measure into this card and let's see what happens. Boom. There you go, my friends. The result here is 89 hours, 20 minutes and 53 seconds. You can also drag this measure into this table. There you go. You can also play with these filters here. Let's say just assembling. There you go. And let's say that you care about just a specific worker. How about Mike McDonald? You start playing with this, right? How about two workers here, John and Smith combined? So we have 15 hours, right? How about three? There you go, 23 hours. How about one more? Look, 31 hours. So that's why this is not working. 
and that's why you have to create a different measure. As you can see, by just making a couple of adjustments, we found the right results. So what do you think? There you have it, my friends. This is just my way to solve this issue, my way to solve this problem. If you have a different way, please let me know by leaving a comment below. Also, if you haven't watched the first tutorial, here is a link. Please keep having fun. Please keep enjoying lives. See you guys in my next tutorial.